hey guys it's me again delicious delights welcome to my channel so i have just uh made a video on the women's section of this shopping video this perfume store in amsterdam airport Schiphol. this will now be the men's side of the store um i just want to say that this is not the duty free part of the airport this is just a perfume store in the airport that's open to all of the public so uh so yeah so i'm just showing you guys what's uh they have for selection so here they have a lot of travel sizes um gift sets for men alien man by bugler definitely an underrated gem i think in the fragrance community uh, Cartier is also a house, actually, I think is very, very, very underrated. Uh, then we have some Terre d'Hermes, very, very popular perfume from Hermes. Look at this little cute set. They have two uh, bottles for 100 euros. I guess those are 50 mils. And then we have the flanker of, o of Terre d'Hermes, Eau Très Fresh. A humongous bottle of it. Versace Eros. A gift set of Bleu de Chanel. I tried to find some text anywhere letting me know what was in that box, but I couldn't find any text uh, other than that, so I didn't really know what's in there. <laughs> I believe it was 160 euros though. So here's a little gift set of Aquadigio, and then we have some minis. Uh, Le Mal Essence de Parfum, and I think that's the Eau de Toilette of Le Mal, yeah. Then we have Ralph Lauren minis. Uh, well, not so many, they're 15 mil, so I guess travel sizes. And some Giorgio Armani minis. Curious for all you guys out there, are, are you guys collecting mini perfumes as well, or just, uh, or just uh, the bottles? Um, for me, I kind of like I have a small collection of minis. When I think they're super cute, or I find them really cheap on discount, then I will buy them. But um, they're also really nice for display. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm like a kind of semi collector, I guess, of minis. Here we have some Cartier minis. Uh, the two on the left, L'Envol and uh, Declaration, are fantastic. Um, it's almost 60 euros for that mini box. So now I'm heading over to the other side. 212 VIP Carolina, Carolina Herrera with the fancy bling bling packaging. Um, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. I'm actually a fan of the original... Uh, Prada Luna Rosa perfume. And then there's the gold bar, 1 million. Now I'm heading over to the, the wall of perfumes for men. Uh, the men's section is a lot smaller than the women's section. I would say by about, it's about half uh, of the women's section. Uh, there I'm showing the Bleu de Chanel perfumes along with many of the products like the body oil, I think that's oil, or the flankers as well. Uh, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and the Parfum. And I think up there, there was like a deodorant that I saw. Then we have Chanel Allure Homme Sport Cologne version, which is a version that uh, I don't really hear a lot, and I don't see a lot in the stores. I see this version though a lot, so the uh, Allure Homme Sport I also see the O Extreme version a lot, and my favorite coming up is the Edition Blanche. So this is the the Sport O Extreme and Edition Blanche, which is something I always have talked about um, very highly in on my channel in the past. So here's Egoist and Platinum Egoist. I actually wore Platinum Egoist. Uh, last weekend and although it's a men's fragrance, I really really enjoyed wearing it a lot And then we have some Armani perfumes. 
I see Stronger With You Intensely. I have reviewed that one and that's actually one that surprised me. It was sweet, uh, very, very sweet. I actually thought it was good. It was sticky, kind of gourmandy and uh, enjoyed that one. And Armani Code, Colonia, a flanker and another flanker, Profumo. Here is uh, the Aqua Di Gio line. With my favorites being the uh, the original Aqua Di Gio, the absolute version I did not like at all. But this uh, Pour Homme, I think it's a nice fragrance. I also think the Terre d'Hermes fragrances, as I said earlier, are really, really nice. And then we have the Jardin line of Hermes, which I speak highly, highly about. I think uh, they're great fragrances. And then this one, Concentrate d'Orange Vert. Probably, probably my favorite from this line of colognes. Uh, my second favorite would be the, the rhubarb one. And then there's a few more, the Gentillon Blanche and uh, another one uh, called Mandarin Ombre, which I don't really know I don't, haven't really seen it in stores lately, so maybe it's been discontinued, but it's been a long time since I've smelled it. Uh, there are the Fahrenheit fragrances, Fahrenheit being, in my opinion, one of the best fragrances ever for men. And then Sauvage, one of the most popular fragrance, uh, fragrances for men. You can see it says top 10 men, that one is number two. And if you go back, uh, I believe number one was Bleu de Chanel. Okay, so now we have another fabulous men's fragrance. Although I think that everything from this line, Dior Homme, uh, is definitely unisex. Uh, here's Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense. And you can see that, do you see that box? This box here is the packaging that I've seen since since it was released but this kind of packaging with the bee on it i've never seen that before so uh i guess maybe they just changed the packaging or maybe also uh, the reform uh the formulation as well here you can see it as well with the dr ohm sport with the two different kinds of of um boxes so i'm not really sure i've never seen that before um dr ohm parfum also fantastic here is Guerlain and their Ideal, Lom Ideal line. That one's the newest released, Lom Ideal Cool, which uh, Andrew and I over on Oda Cupcakes have talked about. So I can link that for you guys in the description box if you guys want to see, hear about our thoughts on that. Okay, so now we're at YSL with La Nuit de L'Homme and many flankers. I see Le Parfum over there. This is a new one, the Eau de Parfum. Also have reviewed it. Uh, also will link it for you <laughs> if you wanna see it. And then just the regular L'Homme. And then they have the Cologne Bleu. And Lintons. Okay, so Spice Bomb, Victor and Wolf. This version here, fresh. I have not ever seen that one. I, I don't know if that's a new release or not, but I have not seen that bottle before. Okay, so now we have <laughs> Bulgari Man. Wood Essence, I did not enjoy that one either uh, at all. I thought it was a terrible fragrance, to be honest. So now we have some Tom Ford, Grey Vetiver, one of my favorites from the line. Ombre Leather, also very nice, smells very, very, very close to Tuscan Leather. Just, uh, it's a lot cheaper than Tuscan Leather though. And I heard that they came out with an intense version now of Tuscan Leather which I haven't tried yet, but they also jacked up the price on it. So uh, I'll try to get my nose on it at some point, but I don't know. I just thought the original Tuscan leather was strong enough. So I don't really, I don't think I would need or want 
to have an intense version. Uh, Hugo reversed uh, a reasonably uh, new one, I believe, but I haven't tried it. Now we have Hugo Boss, some Eternity, and some Flankers. The one on the left there is a new arrival, so another summer edition. Mont Blanc and Mont Blanc Explorer. Actually, Andrew just bought this bottle um, and I, I tested it as well. And I actually think it's a quite a nice fragrance. When I sprayed it and when I wore it one time, uh, the very first impression I got is that it smelled like the interior of a new car uh, with the leather seats and it had like a, a car fresh air freshener that smelled of like a citrus lemon of some sort, maybe bergamot or something like that. But I thought it was a very nice fragrance, especially for the price. Very uh, inexpensive and it smells expensive. Okay, so now we have 1 million. You can see that bottle in the middle there. <laughs> it, there's that, that Pac-Man edition. They also have that in the, the women's as well. You'll have to pause, go back and pause it to see it more clearly. But now we have some Paco Rabanne, Pour Homme. I really, I really think that's a great fragrance. It smells a little bit more mature, but I think it smells really, really nice. Okay. So Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail. I really like the, uh, what is this one called again? Uh, Ultra, I think it's Ultra Mail, that one. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so we are coming near to the end of this video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> uh, uh, these shopping videos. I, I really enjoyed doing them. And I really... Uh, I don't know, I just think it's fun. And I'm just showing a big sign that says the men's section. So anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, as I already said. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.